our own research and, and confirm whether or not what we're being told is accurate or truthful. So uh, I have always loved technology and have, uh, 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 I'm proud to say, was the first guy, the first congressman up on Twitter, uh, sent the first tweet from the Oval Office, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, Twitter message from the floor of the Congress. Uh, I've used it aggressively, extensively. Uh, right now, for example, I've got uh, a newsletter that I've been trying to send to you for over a month on this horrible energy tax, this cabinet tax bill, that is really what it is. It will be, it's a job killer, it's a, excuse me, it is an industry killer. If it passes, the uh, petrochemical industry, the independent oil producers in America that we know, the domestic energy industry in, in America is over. It's just not even a debatable point. The whole the point of that legislation, driven by Nancy Pelosi and the San Francisco Democrats who elect, liberals who elected her on a trial to put party label, the liberals behind her is to, is to make gasoline, put it in about $8 a gallon, and to just wipe out domestic oil production. And all of us in Texas know better than anybody else that it can be all of us understand clearly that oil and gas can be drilled, produced, refined, and a clean, environmentally safe way that's not only good for our prosperity, good for the nation, they're the best jobs you can imagine, highly educated, good paying jobs, it's vital for the country's economic uh, prosperity, vital for the nation's economic future, that we have uh, the ability to drill here, drill now, open up every domestic source of oil and gas, and that bill has already passed the House, and I'm glad that some of y'all were at Gene Green's meeting last night. I hope, you know, and I don't understand how he could vote for that bill, but he did. And I hope everybody reminded him about it and I'm helped about it. And, and let me tell you, the revolution, I'm convinced the American, the next American revolution is right here. Because we now finally have the ability to see and hear in all the little dark corners. And uh, we are filming this on our HD, high definition, uh, flip cam. I forgot my quick video phone. I can't believe it. That's the one I've been using to broadcast instantly on the uh, internet. But the uh, yeah, found information with me that I think is at the front table. And uh, Tony, did we bring the uh, outline? Uh, the can I have let me go back and grab something. I want to make sure to share with you. Now I, and I don't mind you rustle some paper. Pass these up and down a row of you don't already have it. Let me see the handouts. Now this is the chart. Let me have the other handouts. Let me see. That's casework. Where's the uh, Oh, she's, wait a minute, where, oh, is this the whole thing? Let me make sure that y'all be sure to take, let me, I've given you several really important pieces of ammunition that you need to take home with you as you talk to people, and you're going to know people that just think, well, it's wonderful that, uh, you know, we really need to have the, you know, the government be compassionate, we're going to have health care for everybody, and it's a wonderful world, um, and uh, the, uh, I've given you some vitally important pieces of information that you need to share with anybody that comes up to you and says that we need to have a national single payer uh, health care system. We can really be a wonderful thing. In any, I think it's true of the federal government or ourselves individually. The starting point for any discussion, I'm going to take about, I'll take till uh, 6.45 and then I'll stop. And let's dive into questions. Uh, about 10 minutes of introduction, and to give you the starting points of the way I analyze things as your congressman, my starting point on everything is that I'm first and foremost a uh, father, a uh, husband, a uh, Texan, a uh, your congressman, and uh, you know, the, the party label is like way down there because my focus is on what's good for the country, what's good for Texas. I know what's good for Texas is good for America after all. That's like a no brainer. And I'm very focused on, quite sincerely, doing everything I can to get the, I want the federal government out of my life, out of my pocket, off my back, out of my way, leave me alone. <laughs> Federal Judge William Wayne Justice. When, when you, <laughs> you remember it. Uh, 
serious I am about getting the photograph out of our lives, and this really works. Just as a quick piece of history, that we were successful. With your help, it took me 11 years to get him, but I did the legal research and drafted a state law. We passed a state law, and then I sued William Wayne Justice in his own courtroom under the state law and a federal law, and actually won back control of the Texas prison system and ended all federal, uh, every vestige of federal judge William Wayne Justice's control over the prison system. It's now fully in the hands of the legislature. I worked with Gary, you remember, I'll probably talk to you about until I was blue in the face, remember about getting the courts out of school finance. The whole reason why poverty taxes and sci-fair are going through the roof is because you've got lawyers and judges driving school finance policy. When we the people are separated from our elected officials, if our elected officials can hide behind a judge, a bureaucrat, the federal government, it's not my fault, I didn't do it, somebody else made me do it, that's when our system of government that the founders left for us breaks down. So my focus has been as your congressman, when I say let Texans run sec Texas, I'm very serious about it. And I carry around as inspiration with me as a part of what I want you to see. These are, uh, I, mean, I better put it behind glass, you can see it. These are actual lone stars worn by Texans in the Army of the Republic of Texas. And uh, I take it near and dear to heart. I'm a very serious student of Texas history, and a very, I'm very a romantic at heart about it. I mean, it's very, Texas is a very spiritual, special place. For me. And what these guys were fighting for, for the Republic of Texas, what that Lone Star symbolized, I just want you to know that every day that I represent you as your congressman, I remember what it means. Leave me alone. Get out of my life, out of my pocket, off my back, and just let us alone. And let us run Texas, and we'll do just fine. And it's why the federal government's gotten so far out of control. I analyze everything from the perspective of uh, Jeffersonian Republican principles. Can we do things better at the local level? An example would be the Katy Freeway has been my top priority, and I found a way to do it because it was there was no money, it was going to take 15 years. What's a good Jeffersonian solution? Jeffersonian meaning, how do you get it down to the local level, the farthest possible away from the federal government? To let Mr. Jefferson said, each one of us control everything that you can see and touch. In his mind, and the mind of the founders, that we as free Americans should control everything that we can see and touch. My home, my family, my money, my gun case, my business, my neighborhood, my synagogue, my church, leave me alone. If I can see it, touch it, we control it. Uh, uh, for us, the city council right here in Jersey Village, which by the way, we're still need to get your own zip code up here. I'm not forgotten that one. And the other one that's uh, absolute top of the list now, the Katy Katie Freeway worked. Let me close the loop on that. The Katy Freeway worked because I found we found a way, and I was just the spear plug, the, the spark plug and the, the uh, tip of the spear on it, to let the Harris County Tollward Authority step in and take the lead on it. Now, that's never been done before, but I was trying to think outside the box, a good Jeffersonian local solution, locally driven. The Harris County Tollward Authority does a great job. They had the money. They were willing to do it. I had to get permission from the Federal Highway Department to allow a local Tollward Authority to come in and set up those toll lanes. And as a result, even though I'm on the Appropriations Committee, I'm proud to report to you, as a fiscal conservative, I was able to get the Katy Freeway got it built in record time, five years and three months without a single federal earmark. I didn't put a dime of money.